His art is something of a lifeline for Mark Annis. He has autism, and until he began drawing and painting, he struggled to deal with what felt to him like an information overload. It helps me to cope with the world around me. So if I want to express it on paper or canvas, it, it allows me to, you know, utilise the information overload as a means to express myself, really, through on, onto canvas. It's common for people with autism to have advanced visual abilities, and it now seems that may be because their brains are organised differently from those of other people. Different brain areas do different things. This part processes visual information. In autistic people, it's much more highly developed, leaving less brain capacity in this part, which deals with decisions and planning. So when someone with autism sees a face, there are activity hotspots in their brain. When they see an object, there are different hotspots, and it's different again when they hear words. In other words, their brains are working in a unique way. At the Institute of Psychiatry at King's College London, they've been studying brain activity in autistic people. It really shows that people with autism do have very particular skills, so autism isn't just linked to um, loads of difficulties. So I think it shows autism in a really positive light. And also, um, it really focuses on the skills that we can then use um, when we start thinking about therapeutic interventions. This is a centre that supports adults with autism. Um, the National Autistic Society says these findings could help experts develop ways of making life easier for people with the condition. Jane Hughes, BBC News.